My name is Georgia Vanderbilt. Well, so in 2002, actually in 2001, I met my wonderful husband. In 2002, we started an awesome adventure together. We started a company and we started growing our company. And it grew just with the two of us, just amazingly. And it grew by leaps and bounds. And we ended up running into a little bit of a snag. And so we ended up going a bit backwards. And during all of that, we ended up having two amazing boys. So there were some positive parts to it. And then we started to grow. And when we started to grow was about 2013. And we, at that point, didn't, didn't know that we were allowed to hire more people and bring more people onto our team. So we were just doing everything ourselves. And when we finally decided to hire somebody new, um, it was just too much at that point. And we ended up, I was interviewing this lady one morning, it was at 5.30 in the morning, because that was the only time that my children were actually asleep and I could do something without two infants screaming. And so I was in the middle of this interview and I was talking to this woman and asking her questions and as I'm looking at her, my brain just turned. It just flip-flopped, like it just went crash and all of and I all I could do I knew something had happened with my brain I couldn't figure out what it was but I knew that something terrible had happened I finished the interview and within the next 10 minutes 5 to 10 minutes I could remember almost nothing I couldn't remember any of my friends I couldn't remember where I lived my address I could remember my children's names and their middle names that was great <laughs> but I couldn't remember anything else. And so I went and I woke up my husband and I explained to him what was going on. And a few days later we ended up, I, I still, I couldn't remember anything. And so we ended up going to the hospital a few days later and they did test after test after test. They pulled, they pulled fluid out of my spine and I laid on the ground for three days after they pulled this fluid out of my spine because I, it was my infants crawling all over me going, Mommy, what's wrong? Because I just couldn't do anything. I couldn't move, it was so painful. And I, I ended up being diagnosed with a neurological disorder. And right after I got that diagnosis, we started to put things back together. And a few months go by, and my husband called me and he said, honey, something's going on. I don't know what it is, but something's going on. I need to go to the hospital. So we went to the hospital. And I had to say goodbye to my husband. As we went through this door with two crying infants, they were just little, little guys in my arms. And they had to say, all of us, we had to say goodbye. And we found out that he had testicular cancer. And within 14 hours, he was in surgery. And then we had to go through the aftermath of all of that. And a few months after going through radiation, and really, really a tough situation, and seeing everything we'd worked for all of a sudden plummet again, then I found Mind Valley. Just one day, I was actually on Facebook, and I don't even go on Facebook, <laughs> but for some reason I was there. And I saw this little ad and I clicked on it. And I found all of these different programs and these different lessons and these speeches from the teachers. And I started listening and I thought, wait, there's something here. I love this. This is amazing. And so I listened to one speech and then I listened to another and then I just kept listening and started sharing these ideas and these thoughts with everybody around me. And I was able to grow so much. And just with the things that I learned, I was able to transform our company into this amazing place. Our, our kids are growing up in this wonderful, healthy educational environment. And my husband is happy and we are all 
coming together as a wonderful family. Our business has just grown. We have seven employees. There's nine of us, including my husband and I, and it's just absolutely amazing to go through this wonderful journey. And and I thank Mind Valley for that because there was somebody who had a vision of what they needed to do and what they wanted to do to help the world, and I got to tap into that vision, and I got to use that for myself and for my family and it has been incredible and an amazing thing for me in my life. <laughs> yes, the best programs that I went through, uh, my number one program was Christy Marie Sheldon. So she was just absolutely stunning. The different things that she taught, the different um, beliefs that I had that I didn't even realize I had, but she was able to bring those up and she was to clear those and I was able to forgive myself, other people from my past, I was able to release all of the thoughts that I had and move on. And after being able to release those thoughts, that's actually when we saw our company skyrocket. So we had, I, I did, I think the reason why we went through me being really ill and I don't know if my husband would have had such a hard time except maybe I didn't learn enough from my own experience that, that we had to go through this other experience as well so that we could learn and get to a place where we said enough is enough what can we learn where can we go and so we love Christy Marie Sheldon, and then we also love, of course, Lisa Nichols. She's amazing and wonderful and has definitely helped us with our communication with our employees and our customers and, um, and being strong and knowing that what we're doing is awesome. And then also uh, Marissa Peer and just knowing that I am enough and being able to apply that into every aspect of my life and to take out those limitations that tell me I'm not enough. So, I am enough. <laughs>